Hi friends, today we are going to be learning about subtracting three digit numbers without regrouping. And I'm going to be showing you the base 10 block strategy. So let's take a look, right here we have our place value chart, which we've used many times before. And you've seen when we've used our little one cubes, we've used our 10 rods. And today we are going to introduce a big square to that, and that is our hundreds. Now I want us to take a quick look at what our hundreds actually represents. So here in our hundreds square, you should be able to identify 10 10 rods. Look, I've numbered those for you and colored them in. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll also be able to notice that if you counted all the little cubes inside of this big square, you would come up with 100 one cubes. So this block right here is going to represent our hundreds. But it's very important, once again, for you to understand what the composition of this square actually is. Okay, so again, here we have our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And again, we're not going to be doing any sort of regrouping today. We are going to start off with the problem 382 minus 261. So let's go ahead and remember that we are only going to draw out our top number because we are not adding to that number, we are taking away from it. So let's go ahead and draw 382 using our base 10 blocks. So I'm going to start with my 3. My 3 is going to be represented with 300 squares. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 1, 2, and 3. All right. Now I am going to draw my 8 tens. So once again, I can do this just using straight lines for my 10 rods. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to draw my two ones. And I'm gonna make little squares for these ones. So just little squares. So we can tell the difference between those and our hundreds. All right, friends, now it's time for us to take away. So we are now going to subtract 261. Now, where do we start in a subtraction problem? That's right, we always start with our ones. And we have to remember that we always work our way from top to bottom. We cannot reverse the order, we always have to go from top to bottom. So, we are going to take away one of our ones. I'm going to cross that out now. Now let's move over to our tens. How many tens are we taking away? That's right, we're taking away six tens. Let's go ahead and do that now, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Excellent. And how many hundreds are we taking away? That's right, we're taking away two of our hundreds. All right, now it's time for us to go ahead and count up what we have left. So how many ones do we have left? That's right, we just have one one left. How many tens do we have left? One, two, two tens. And how many hundreds do we have left? Just one. So our answer to 382 minus 261 is 121. Let's try another one. Now we're gonna try the math problem 639 minus 532. So remember, we're only drawing out our top number because we are taking away, not adding two. So I'm gonna start with my hundreds and draw six big hundred squares. One, two, three, four, five, and There we go. 
Okay, so there is our there are our six hundred squares. Now let's draw our three tens. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three tens. All right, and then we have nine little one cubes. Remember, keep these small so we can tell the difference between these and our hundreds. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and count them up like I always like to do to make sure that I didn't lose track while I was drawing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. All right. So now it is time to subtract our ones. Because remember, we always start with our ones and we have to remember we work our way from the top to the bottom. So how many ones are we taking away? That's right, we're taking away two ones. Let's cross out two of our ones. One, two. How many tens are we taking away? That's right, we're taking away three. Oh, they're all going away on that one. And how many hundreds are we taking away? Let's count. Five, that's right. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. Now, starting with our ones, let's see what we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many tens do we have left? Oh, you're right, no tens, so it's zero. And how many hundreds do we have left? Oh, just one. So our answer to 639 minus 532 equals 107. All right, friends, let's do one more, and this time I'm gonna have you do some of this work. We are going to do 528 minus 221. So what is the first thing that we have to do here? Great job, we have to draw out the number 528. Do we draw out the number 221? No, we do not. That's right, because we're taking away. So let's draw that 528 now. Great job drawing those hundreds. Now what do we need to draw? You got it, two tens it is. And then finally, what do we draw? That's right, eight little ones. Okay, so what do we need to do next? That's right, we need to subtract our one. So we're gonna cross out some ones. How many ones do we cross out? That's right, we cross out one of our ones. How many tens are we gonna cross out? You got it, two tens, both of them. And how many hundreds are we going to cross out? That's right, two. All right, so what do we do next? right we count up how many ones we have left one two three four five six seven now what do we do that's right we count up how many tens we have left how many tens do we have left none zero that's correct and then finally how many hundreds do we have left that's right we have three hundreds left so the answer to 528 minus 221 is 307. Great job today, friends, subtracting three-digit numbers without regrouping using base 10 blocks.